a lot of people are really interested in making it work and moving towards a more, I would say, like greener economy. Change is really scary for everyone. The whole industry knows that it, you know, there's, it needs to transform. If I am going to fail, how I'm going to be seen after that? Do I have a job? Everybody knows about the challenges that are out there. There are people that are actually willing to pay for good stuff. The big question is how to replace fossil-based and artificial resources with bio-based resources. Bio is the most complicated thing in the world. Their area is more sophisticated, more difficult than others. There are inspiring stories everywhere. If you copy and cope with nature, you can have new materials with new functions. Longer lifetime, stronger robustness, uh, less resources, less toxicity in producing, etc. And if you take that as a mixed bag together with that, why are we not trying to have a, an economy which is based primarily on biological resources? Our greatest um Treasure is wood. Wooden house can be 700 years if you take care for it. You have to think out of the box. Courage in general uh, requires that you are willing to do something. I also have a strong inner drive for, for what is the right thing to do. Um, and uh, the setup, the system as it is now, is not right, it's wrong. Why are you here in this world and what are you doing and what will you leave after yourself? It's, it's a really a pushing the mindsets mm -hmm. of what the future of fashion can look like. I'm one of these crazy ones believing that this is a good idea and this is the future of aquaculture. They have to be more than an ordinary researcher, more than an, uh, an ordinary economist. It's a higher demand on your, on your spirits and on your brain. Unfortunately, I have to say that. I truly believe that we can change the game. To challenge yourself, to, to aim higher. I will need to work hard. Courage is all about trying these new things. And if you do it with biology, you will succeed.